I got one word for you. The reason why the 49ers and Kyle lost the championship game. Tell me. Watch this. Watch, watch behind me. Cabo. Cabo. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> I got it on my sports channel, uh, uh, you know, a little clowning, you know, when Kyle went on that uh, podcast and, uh, the, oh, yeah, you got him. And McVay with this high-pitched voice. Remember when we got Stafford? That's when he lost this game. Ooh. Ooh. So that's a good story for you. Cabo. He, Cabo. He, 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 uh, Kyle was uh, sleeping at the wheel. Thought, you know, they told him, hey, man, if you want to get Stafford, you better get the phone. Yeah. Didn't get it. That's and right. He, he sealed his fate right there. And, wow. uh, and, 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 and one thing too, um, I know you have a lot of callers. Thank you for letting me come in. Of course. I, I'm a long time Ram fan. I've been through the Tony Banks years, the, the Niners wow. beating us 17 times in a row, believe it or not. Um, you know, That's I've right. been there, been through it. So 1989, the Los Angeles Rams go on the road against Joe Montana's Niners in the championship game. But before that, the Rams beat Reggie White's Eagles on the road, okay. beat them, then go to LT's Niners at New York, beat them. Then three offensive linemen go out. They go to the Niners' candlestick, arrested Joe Montana team in the championship game, take a three to nothing lead, about to take a 10 to nothing lead. Jim Everett throws a bomb. Ronnie Lott knocks it out of the air, and the, and the rest is history because the Niners beat us 30 to three because the yeah. Rams were beat up. Flashback to 2022, the Rams got yeah. revenge for 1989 championship game wow. on our home tough, on our home <laughs> turf. So yeah. I just wanted. So as a Ram fan, remembering that day, it was super sweet, and uh, so I just want to tell you, Cabo is the reason why Kyle lost this game. It'll live in. Well, I just want to say that uh, I didn't remember 1989. I was one year old. Yeah, That's before my time. But what is cool is that this is a legit rivalry now. The the rivalry the last ten years was San Francisco and Seattle. Now it's San Francisco and L A. And I think it's going to be around for a while. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And so I want to. And I want to tell all the Niners and yourself, you know, wonderful media. That's how they were talking about how the Rams are soft with players like uh, 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 Donald and Von Miller. Now they're not. not. Uh, and the Niners were spent. And then that's your fault. That's their fault for not having a good enough record, you know, having to go on. Yeah, the it's their fault for starting three and five. That's their fault. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, we still have to finish it. Burrow's a different monster. You know, hopefully we can get after him. But imagine. You're saying uh, Joe Burrow is better than Jimmy Garoppolo? Well. What? No, but we, we were spent with you guys. You know, it's yeah. like getting the gorilla off of our back. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, the yeah. idea of the 49ers on our home turf getting to the Super Bowl, possibly winning it, there's no way that that can happen. There's no way. So I almost – What did you think when the Super Niners Bowl. phased out Debo Samuel in the fourth quarter? He got one touch. What do you think of that? Oh, man, I love Debo. Um, it's – you know, Kyle did Kyle things. Yeah. You know, uh, just like we were expecting uh, Jimmy to do Kyle things. I mean, uh, Jimmy to do Jimmy you, things at the end. That's what I'm saying, man. They're, they're both kind of the same in their in their failures. Who do you think is a better coach? Who would you rather have coach the Rams, Kyle or Sean McVay? Well, I've always yeah. said this, that Kyle it reminds me of Norv Turner. He's a hell of mm. offensive mind, but he's not a head coach. That's my mm. mind. Um, look what he did with the trade this year. Almost, He's better than that, but he's a hell of a, you know, his, his running scheme is second to none. Right. It's very complicated. McVay's right. is not as yeah. complicated, but there's different right. personnel. We don't have that big offensive line like they do. They don't so, have to run the fullback either. True. Yeah. Once, and the fullback. Know, so, yeah. um, but um, I'm just so happy that the guys, and we didn't even remember I was talking to about jo Sebastian Joseph day. We mm -hmm. did this without him. So yeah, that Robinson Gaines guy, guy had a big, a big uh, game. 91 had a big game. Great games. My brother, game. Greg Gaines, the, the spirit of Kevin. Who the Green hell is Greg Gaines? That guy was good. <laughs> yeah. So, and yeah. then we have a 50 year old uh, widow in the back, in the backfield because our safety was crazy. Were. <laughs> Who made like the play of the game on second and one. Yeah. So I'm Niners looking... convert on second and one. I don't know that the Rams win that game. Weddle comes in and gets that tackle for loss. Crazy. And, and and to and, and to my boy Tart, you know, um, he, he did a Bill Buckner play. You know, he he dropped that interception. It was a Bill Buckner play. Um, Damn, so, but but also the pressure was so bad. Look at Ramsey dropped two picks. He it's had true. one like this, and we had one like this. Good point. And you, you, know, you think the Rams? The pressure. Uh, you think the Rams signed Tart? Uh, you know what? With with uh, less need, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't put nothing past them. I, I wouldn't put nothing past less. I wouldn't put nothing past. And this is just to mess with the Niner fans. I wouldn't put nothing past Les Snead telling uh, OBJ to go over to talk to Debo to recruit him. <laughs> Be like, hey, man, you want to get the ball in the fourth quarter? Come over here. But I just want to come on. Thank you, Greff, for bringing me on. I just wanted to tell Niner fans, props to you guys. You, you know, you guys started out three and five. My brother Tommy Huxley's on there. Um, you know, we got our chain back, Debo. We got our chain back. So uh, uh, we're going to the Super Bowl, and we're ready to go, baby. We have The job's not done, but this was a, second, a first Super Bowl because we had it. 
uh, eliminate the Cowboy, uh, the, the Niners. Uh, we gave them life and we took it away. So it's only fitting that we had to do that. That's true. But yeah, hey, just remember luck. that. Uh, Cabo, Cabo. Cabo. <laughs> Have a good one, man. All right, brother. Thank you, Grant. Take care, man. Peace.